as you can see behind me, accident reconstructionists are on the scene trying to figure out exactly what happened. Now, many in the building are concerned about their safety, and it's because of this. This front door has been broken for months, allowing anyone off the street to walk right in. The water has been pounding this retaining wall all day. As you see, colleagues here are fired up. Only this caution tape prevents someone from falling into that cellar. And when some kids got tired of sledding, they came here to build this snowman. How's it look, guys? Yay! This cooling center is one of a handful of local centers where people can beat today's scorching heat. But once you step inside, there's little relief. That's because one of the AC units is broken. Neighbors we spoke with say they can't believe something so tragic like this has happened on their block. Bollywood is all about expressing your emotions. And car enthusiasts can pick from any of these four Batmobiles displayed here at today's classic auto show, all fitting for the Cape Crusader himself. This location under the Bruckner Expressway was a known hangout spot for local day laborers. Others tell us that this location was where some of them slept. Every time I tried to yell or scream or make any, like, tell him to stop, he would just punch me harder in my face. The violent attack on the young mom happened inside this elevator here at the Mitchell's houses. Now many in the building are concerned about their safety, and it's because of this. This front door has been broken for months, allowing anyone off the street to walk right in. Anybody can walk in and out, and you don't know who's who. Police believe that's how Ileana Valentine's attacker got into the building Wednesday evening. She clings to this formula can covered in her own blood that she used to defend herself, which was no match against her attacker. The assault so vicious, she lost a tooth. My daughter, I just thought about her because I just feel like we have no safety. Hours after our report aired, this lobby door was fixed. The city's housing authority says the development is also on the list for security cameras, which has been lacking in the building. Valentine believes if her building had cameras, her attacker would not be on the streets. If some camera would have seen him, he probably would have been caught already, but no. In Mont Haven, Carmen Grant, News 12, The Bronx. Parents tried to console each other here on Banyard Place where seven-year-old Katie Castori was crushed outside her apartment by this massive iron gate that fell on her. I ran, I picked it up. By the time it was too late, she was already, her skull was cracked, she was finished. She was unconscious and she was coughing up blood and stuff. Bronxites say this was a tragedy waiting to happen. They showed us how easy it is to rock the iron gates back and forth. They say they're not anchored into the ground and are linked by chains. It's dug in and that's it. It's not um, cemented or anything. Bronxites here say they made numerous complaints to the landlord that these gates are not secure. In fact, they say last year a gate fell on another child, but she survived. Actually got to save her, but she, her whole ear was all teared up inside. And now that you got a dead body, they should come and just change all these gates because there's no support on them. Parents here are now outraged. A little girl is dead, crushed to death by a gate they say was a danger to families living on this block. In Soundview, Carmen Grant, News 12, The Bronx. When the light changed, he, he ate the light and came directly into my house. Homeowner Steve Campbell shows us this surveillance video of a livery cab plowing directly into his garage. In fact, the Bronx site says this is the second time a car has slammed into his Taylor Avenue home. He says back in 2010, the foundation shook when a speeding car went straight into his tenant's apartment. He can't believe it's happened once again. This guy was that speeding. I could see that on the tape. He was going at least 50 miles an hour. Witnesses say the livery cab barreled its way through the intersection, narrowly missing a car, then struck this parked vehicle, went through the fence and into the garage. The driver suffered minor injuries. You can see for yourself the sheer force of this crash. It plowed through this crossing light, sending debris flying everywhere. I'm shaking still. The front of the Rivera's Dodge Caravan is now a mangled mess. Irene says her mother had just dropped her daughter off from school and was coming into the house when she felt the ground shake. My mom literally walked by and that happened. I'm just glad that she, my daughter got to school safe, that my mother, my mother didn't get hit. As for the homeowner, he's considering moving from this corner lot. I don't know, maybe I should move to a, the middle of the block. In Parkchester, Carmen Grant, News 12, The Bronx.